In this class, we have learned four types of software. These are Audacity, WeVideo, Camtasia, Lightworks. Audacity is a piece of a sound editing software. It's free and has a small program size. These are some advantages about Audacity, but it is a little complex and hard to understand. At the first time, I made some mistakes and I could not fix it quickly. Instead of correcting my faults, I started my projects and again and again. The second one is Vvideo is an online video editing program. I signed up Vvideo with my Google account and it was free. I think it was very user friendly. I completed two projects with Vvideo that were very funny. You can edit your video and soundtrack in different tracks. In my opinion, it's a little bit of limited to share a video in the different platforms. In the free version, you can share your video only YouTube and save it your Google account. It's not let you share your video on Vimeo or Facebook immediately. The third one is Camtasia, it's software that has both screen recorder and video editor. Its free version is very generous, it's free for 30 days, also you can make 5 minutes video for each day, it's limited for daily. In Camtasia, you can edit a video and its sound in the same track, I really like its feature screen recording. When recording your screen, you can record your voice and also add some effect to help more comprehensible of your video. In order to record videos and capture your computer screen, you have to download the Camtasia software, which requires specific system requirements for Windows and Mac operating system. They do not offer a web-based version of the software. This is an disadvantage of Camtasia. The last one is Lightworks is a professional video editor. It came to be more professional and more complex as a beginner video editor. On the other hand, I would you like to say that seeing Ravi's version and editing version of a video on the same screen is a very fascinating. This course, I really excited how can I do my own projects and are they meet all requirements. I like to watch a movie and also record some short video. When I was a college student in Turkey, I had a little experience such as recording some movies and editing them, but none of them is professional. I looked forward to be more professional video maker and editor at the end of this course. Of course, Dr. Dogan gave us some significant information about digital video and multimedia terms. During the course, we learned many types of video recording and editing programs. Every webinar was very informative and illustrative. Every other week, we completed two multimedia projects. One of them was explained on the webinar, and other one was completed according to some tutorial from the YouTube. I can say that I learned many multimedia terms when I was working on my projects. I learned how can I record my own voice with Audacity and edit it. I really enjoyed doing my own karaoke. That was very fun to learn new things. By using YouTube editor, I edited some of my old videos. Also, I learned to mix some videos and editing them with WeVideo. Changing background colors and adding some effects I learned with Camtasia project. At the last project, we prepared a short video about news with Lightworks. That was a good experience. So of course, because of this course, I definitely understand the power of a video in our life. I think it is more effective and clearer than a written paper. Because of some multimedia files, we can explain much information in a short time. My favorite opportunity is that we can have a chance to watch any file if you missed any class or any information. For example, after the webinar, I watched the webinar video one more time when I was doing my multimedia projects. Also, I completed some projects after I watched some tutorials from YouTube.